Good morning, guys. Look at this weather that we have. It actually is a blizzard. It doesn't look like it. The camera can never like do the snow justice for whatever reason, but the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I think I mentioned in my last vlog that this photographer and I have been trying to do a shoot in the snow. Oh, he's just messaging me now. We were going back and forth and I was saying like, I'm down to do it, but I think it's just too windy. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna get dressed really quick and I'm gonna see if it's, if it's doable or if it's like too much. Because I'm down to do a shoot in the snow, I'm just not down to get all the way out there and then realize that it's not a good day for it. So, do you guys want to come out to the snow with me? <laughs> Okay, I'm vlogging on my phone real quick because my bag is... Where's my... My camera's in the bag. Is this where we're going? It's okay, you can... Hi! How are we feeling? Oh, I gotta get the camera going. Snow day ever. But this is gonna be epic. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Show us the way. Great. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not the best. Thing. This is the before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I made it to the studio. Say hi. You'll see a lot more of him later. But we made it all the way in the snow, and we're just gonna warm up um, before we get out there. Okay, so this is shot number one. <gasps> Should I tell them what we're doing? I haven't told them yet. So we're actually gonna shoot a little boxing video in the snow. Tony's gonna shoot it. So it's gonna be very cold, but it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. Trust me, all I need is a moment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. First shot done. We did the shadow boxing part and then we're gonna go outside and do a little jump roping part and then we're done in the snow. So how are we feeling? <laughs> Is that how how are we feeling? I want I wanna do some close-ups. <laughs> Guys, this is my favorite barista ever. A beer. I've known you for four years now. Yeah. 
Top it up. I just got out of the shower, feeling fresh. I'm quickly gonna put some um, oil, <laughs> oil on my face, and then we're gonna make dinner together. I meant to start vlogging like earlier than now, but it kind of turned out to be a busy day. I had a lot of like errands to do this morning, and then I went live on Instagram at like 10. Um, usually I go live on Tuesdays, but this week Tuesday it just like didn't work out for whatever reason. Yeah, so I was like, I'll just do it Thursday instead. It was super fun. Um, and then I met up with Tiffany and we got sweet green and we actually just spent like, I think she was here for like three or four hours and we were just catching up. And then I got some packages and now we're here. I fresh out the shower. <laughs> um, so that's kind of been my day. I wanted to talk to you guys while I make dinner and we can just end the vlog in the kitchen together. So yeah, I've been getting some packages today. I'm getting some more tomorrow and this weekend. I think it was my last vlog that I told you guys that my blender broke. So my new blender is actually coming on Saturday, which I'm super excited about. And then I also ordered a new coffee machine, which is sitting like right here. Um, but I'm gonna wait to share that with you guys until I try it and I know that it's actually the coffee machine that I like. So yeah, blender, coffee machine. Um, I also ordered a new garbage can, which I'm sure you guys are super interested in, but um, I'm gonna have to return it because it's, it's literally like this big. I can fit like a toilet paper roll and five tissues in there and then it's full. So um, I need to replace that one for a bigger one for the kitchen. What else? And then I also ordered a couple of new pillows. We're coming off of no spend January and I am just like ordering all these things. But the reason why I'm ordering all this stuff is because I decided to stay in this apartment for another year. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because so many of you guys were asking me if I am going to be moving or like when I'm moving. And the answer is, I'm not moving. <laughs> I put my hair back for real. Um, also, sorry for the noise, but I'm just going to be prepping my salmon while I talk to you. Um, so yeah, anyway, I mentioned to you guys that I was thinking of not renewing the lease here. And it was kind of like a premature decision. Like, I hadn't even made up my mind, really. It was more so something that I was thinking about because... I think at that time I had just gotten back from LA and I was just like super happy to have been in a new environment, get out of the city, um, you know, obviously spend like just over a week in a new place. And at the time I was feeling kind of like stuck and I thought, you know, maybe I'm feeling this way because I've spent pretty much all of quarantine in this apartment. I've been here for four years. Maybe I need a change. Maybe I need a new apartment. But then, as I started thinking about it and thinking about like where I think my life is going to go in the next year or two, I just realized that moving isn't something that I truly want to be doing right now. And once I finish marinating my salmon, I'll explain to you why. <laughs> I just realized that I ran out of honey for my salmon. Oh yeah, so I started just thinking about like what do I think my life is going to look like in the next year or two and like what are my priorities right now and my priorities as of right now are to be available for work to be flexible and to you know be open to like whatever opportunity comes on my path my my priority right now isn't to move into a bigger place furnish a bigger place and not necessarily like tie myself down but it is kind of like tying yourself down to a bigger commitment and I think I just realized that I'm not willing to do that right now and that's just not like a priority for me. So yeah, I honestly just couldn't come up with a good enough reason to not only like leave this apartment but also put myself through like the moving process and all the admin that comes with like moving in general but also moving in New York, it's such a process. So um, yeah, I just started thinking like, okay, instead of looking at other places in the city, why don't I just explore what's possible with my current place? So I started doing that. I started talking to, you know, my landlord and my building management. I need to, hang on. Um, I need to get, okay, my battery died. <laughs> um, what was I saying? 
I feel like I'm getting so sidetracked right now, but anyway, long story short, very long story short, I just, I just ended up getting a really good deal on another year here, and I ultimately ended up getting exactly what I wanted, you know, like I don't have to deal with the moving process, also like saving a lot of money in this next lease. Normally I wouldn't share this kind of stuff because I don't think it's super exciting, but um, the reason why I'm sharing it now is because I think that sometimes there can be a lot of pressure, especially in this space, you know, to have the perfect furniture or the perfect apartment or the perfect aesthetic when it comes to your living space and, and even like your clothing, like with everything really. And um, I just don't really live by that, at least not right now. Like there's so much time to have your dream apartment. There's so much time to buy expensive lifetime furniture like there's so much time for that and sometimes there can be this pressure of like having your dream apartment at the age of 22 and like that's just not realistic you know also like if you guys are on the same page as me and you want to buy a property in the next like five years let's say then my priority shouldn't be renting a more expensive place or renting a bigger place it should be paying as little as I can for my rent now so that my money can go into like my actual future investment property rather than just like throwing it away to rent, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna make my cauliflower rice now. Um, so yeah, that's the apartment update. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I did tell myself though that I'm just gonna refresh a couple things. That's why I'm replacing some of the things that I've had since I moved in here or since before I even moved in here, since like my Chinatown apartment. Oh my God. Um, I, uh, I, to I told myself I'm just gonna like refresh the place a little bit. Nothing crazy, but blender, coffee machine. Um, I'm gonna redo like my bedding area. Thinking about buying a new mirror. Anyway, I'm gonna update you guys on that as I go because I don't think I'm gonna be buying everything at once, but. This place is gonna get a little bit of a revamp. I know I get a lot of comments from you guys saying how how minimal it is and how like little art and decor I have, but that's also kind of just who I am. But I also think that, um, you know, because I spend so much time in the apartment, focus. Because I spend so much time in the apartment and I'm obviously home more now than ever, like I, I do need to like invest a little bit more in my space, so. That's what's up. I'm gonna finish up making dinner. I'm just cooking my cauliflower rice right now. Um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I just finished editing and I'm gonna upload it and I'm going to head to bed. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching as always. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that button down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Ah.